You're watching BCTV. We're all about Brantford. You're watching BCTV, Brantford Government Television, a service of Brantford Community Television. This program is brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Good evening, everybody, and welcome. My name is Pat Brownell. Today is Thursday, November 14th, 2020, and I'd like to ask the commissioners to please not, yeah, announce yourself. Pam yeah. Murphy. Patty Torrey. Mary Hahn. Ellen Carucci. Jean Ricco. Laura Myjack. Nancy Kahn. Dak Myridge, my director. Dorian Dent Hart Clerk. Thank you. Um, have you all had a chance to review the minutes? Yes. 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 Um, can I ask for a motion to approve them, please? Motion I to make approve. Okay. Second. Thank you. Minutes are approved. I'm going to ask Dagmar now to do the director's report. Uh, do you want to vote on the meeting schedule for tomorrow? I was going to do that later. Okay, that's whatever. fine. That's fine. Or we can it's on the agenda now, so you might okay. as well do it. All right, fine. Yeah. Uh, you all have in front of you the meeting schedule for 2020. If you would look at it and um, we can vote on it. For those in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. So, okay. So, so Thank we'll, you. Now, Dagmar. <laughs> we'll, we'll send the meeting schedule to town clerks so they have it. I'll take care of that. Okay. Thank you. Thank um, you, Dory. The next thing we do have to do get to the town clerk. I need a couple of commissioners to meet with uh, Lori and myself next week. Um, probably around five o'clock one night just so we can work on the annual report because that is overdue to the town clerk's office um, so if anyone would like to do that uh, Patty I know you've have helped yep. in the past uh, I'll help you will you help okay. on the and right. we'll set a time up for that if anyone else is interested in uh, working on the annual report just give me a call or tell me after okay. the meeting. get that okay, in thank for you. her next week so we're not the last one it's probably second to on to my report. Well, our big news is we've moved. We Yay. today. Yay. 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 We're so happy. <laughs> and to those at home, if you haven't come, please come. Uh, you have to be over 60 and a Brantford resident. And even if you're not, come take a look at the beautiful uh, new community house, our home. Rec department's on the lower level. Canoebrook's on the upper level. Um, we opened there Tuesday morning. And so we've completed three days. We got moved and we're getting settled in and people are loving it. I just got to say we're having probably 400 to 500 people a day in and we had some of the commissioners you can speak to, you are ambassadors and we did tours, we do tours with people to kind of get them acclimated. Do you want to speak to that a little bit, some of the feedback you had? Oh, I, I enjoyed doing the touring. Everybody was positive. Yeah. They loved the building. You know, the library, the fireplace. Oh, the fireplace is neat. It's <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. Jamie got the fireplace going. Yeah. i got to tell you, he, he spent a good hour, hour trying to get that going. And so we have him to thank for getting that actually going because it was beyond what I could right. manage at that point. So good thank job. you. <laughs> the Tatucket Room. You're very important. The Tatucket Room showing how it can be separated into three separate rooms. Oh, yeah. And it they is think, soundproof. And they're soundproof. Right, yeah. right. So, and so. the kitchen, it's yeah. just amazing. It's great job. Yeah. Hats off to everyone. It was yeah, wonderful. I, yeah. Everybody really had positive comments about it. I love the little touch of taking the bleachers and putting mm -hmm. them on the wall by the elevator. That really was special. Um, but it was just a very positive experience. People really loved it. Thank you, Love both that. of you. State and of art. Your whole team. Did the rest of wonderful. you get to see it? Or? I worked the elections. Oh, so you saw it as we were mm -hmm. just starting to, to be in there. Been yet, but I'm Please do. Uh, I think you will very much right. enjoy it. Nice um, the feedback I've had has been very positive, and there's some growing pains, and there's going to be a few things. We, we don't have all our furniture yet, and that will kind of roll in, so every week will be a surprise when something shows up. But we're working cooperatively with the rec department. It's loaned us some chairs till we get our chairs. So, yeah, we're kind of really loving the space, and it's so nice to be in a place. The biggest thing, people are it's bright, it's light, right. and we are seeing a real increase in men 
coming in to sign up who feel like, wow, this is a place for me, the Waverly Lounge. They love that area, a place where they can come, get a cup of coffee, read a newspaper, and then go on with their day. So I think that's really important um, to have a place where everyone feels comfortable. Okay. And we're very grateful to the community for all the support. I'm grateful to my team <coughs> who has really, we've, we've worked really hard the last few weeks to kind of get the move and get over there. So we're very happy about that. Um, and all my colleagues that helped with the move were happy about that too. So I, I thank the GGB and the rec department who actually physically moved a lot of the tables and the chairs and got the TVs on the walls. And so it's, it's a team effort. And I think that's one thing in our community. It's a community effort. It's a community center for everyone. So, and a lot you were speaking to, um, a lot of people being in there on election day and a lot of people come and remember when their kids were there and it was built the first time they raised money and collected pennies at the schools and things so you know a lot of people who are participating now and members of the group <coughs> remember the first mm -hmm. go round and they're just yeah. thrilled to have a light bright place they just want to come and hang <laughs> so that's great and we, we are seeing the increase in numbers I think Nancy can speak to that a little bit I said last time a 40% increase I think will be there. Yeah. yeah, I mean the classes are great and we, if we need to expand, we're only going to expand and grow yeah. as the demand is there. So um, yeah, we're excited. Excellent. Um, that's, that's our big news. So okay. you know, we invite the public to come, people of all ages to come, check us out upstairs, downstairs, and we're really happy to welcome and be in our new home and grateful. So. That's kind of my report. I did not get to my written reports because our, our focus has been moving, getting settled, and greeting the public right. and making people feel at home. And, um, we certainly I, understand that. Well, a busy I, time. Thank you, Dagmar. You're very welcome. So that's that's pretty much okay. what I have to say. Nancy, would you like to talk about Yeah, sure. So um, the election day fair, we went back to the Murphy School. Um, there weren't as many people as last year that came to vote, but we have our regulars that support us. and. I'm happy to say right now we raised $668 that one day. Um, I have some stuff I'm holding for someone, so there'll be more sales. We have two holiday shops coming in December, Friday, December 20th from 10.30 to 12.30, and Monday, December 23rd from 11 to 12.30. Um, we have lovely sea glass pendants from Brantford Point, very good prices, so come on down. We'd love to uh, show off our stuff to you. Um, just a few things happening in December. We have our annual Hanukkah dinner, December 10th. It's $22. We have a four-piece um, Klesnik band. Last year was a four-piece that turned into an eight-piece, and we paid for the four-piece. So that was really cool. Um, so all the holiday traditions, all my tchotchkes go on the table, so please join us. It's really fun. Um, the Rotary Dinner, uh, that's on December 12th, and um, it's at the church. Um, it's only a $2.00. Um, fee. It's from Soup to Nuts. They serve you on China. It's a, a wonderful evening with entertainment. Santa Claus, everyone gets a gift from Santa, and it's happy, jolly time. Um, and we also are our Christmas parties at the Chowder Pot on December 18th. It's $33. We have a really great um, guitarist, uh, Johnny Peace, coming, and he really knows how to play the audience, and he makes everyone feel good. It's a very upbeat, happy time. Uh, there's a lot of cool day trips coming up, so come on down, check us online, or give me a call. I'll be happy to discuss everything with you. So thank you all. Thank you very much, thank Nancy. You. You're welcome. Uh, there's no social service report today. Yeah. Am I correct? No. Oh, correct. Okay. Thank you. Um, there were two comments in the comment box, and they were both the same. Uh, life is beautiful, a garden, growth, something, sharing the above words describe a garden at the new senior center flowers herbs vegetables herbs for teas etc um, so i'll just refer these over to you um, are there any citizen comments at this time yes Could I, I was just going to say that the community has been bring some good news. Thank you. We always welcome good news. Yes. I've been around a long time. I'm 89 years old. Oh, I've been in Brantford all my life. I know a lot of people and they know me. And um, I got a lot of remarks 
about the senior center. And but I want to tell you my good news about this senior center. Thank you. I looked it over. It took me a couple of days to walk through sure. and around. And I was very impressed with the workmanship, the craftsmen. Yeah. I can't begin to tell you how much I admire the work they done in that building. That building is perfect. I couldn't Thank find you. a thing wrong. Wow. And that's the good news. Wonderful. I couldn't find a thing wrong. We appreciate your positive comments, George. Thank you so yes, very yeah. much. That's and, very nice. And I, I hope somehow the people that are responsible for the work that was done are told my remarks. They're being told right now by you, George. Okay. So thank you very thank much. You. We appreciate your coming and telling us. And I got one more report I want to make. Okay. This is on the Totoka room. Okay. That's a large room. Yes, it is. And that room can ha put on a large display of activities. Let's say pickleball. They, you can set up a court, which is like a tennis court. There is um, pickleball courts downstairs on the lower level. I believe there's three. There's four. Four pickleball There's four yeah. pickleball courts. courts lined on the gym, George. Yes, yeah. on the and gym. And you can watch there's people four. play. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Then and I can't use that as an example. Right. Well, the pickleball, just so you all know, I learned how to play over the weekend, and we are going to start. I want to talk to recreation to see when we might be able to use the gym, and I do have a senior gentleman who said he'd be happy to teach, and Wonderful. then I can help a little bit for beginners. I know they have, like, an advanced group, but right. for people who don't know how to play, I think it's going to be a great opportunity. Okay. Right. George, you want well, to continue? Yes, I will continue. Yeah. Pickleball, that's besides the point now. I don't need that for an example. Oh, oh, is it okay? Okay. But because it's a large room, just think of this room as a large room, and you're going to have some sort of an activity in it. Now, when the affair is over, you have to store this equipment that's ever involved, whatever is involved, someplace. Mm -hmm. You just can't leave it on the, on the floor like that chair is left over there, which shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. It should be put away. Right. There is no storage space for that big room. And I'm suggestion, yep. suggesting that the, the town be informed that they should have at least 200 square feet of space in that room for storage. I found no space. There was one little closet that said storage on it. Right. One little closet. But that's not big enough. And they should get it fixed now uh -huh. so that in case you do have a situation where you have an activity where you have to store this equipment, you'll have it all set to go. Okay. That's the only thing I have to say. Thank you so much. We you know, appreciate your comments, welcome. George. Thank you for coming. Thank you bet. Jamie, did you have anything? Just quickly want to say, uh, yeah, it's great that both departments are now operating out of the building. I know it was a, uh, a project we all look forward to seeing it come to fruition. And I know I've been before this commission many a times, but I, I am, uh, and I'm pleased to hear uh, uh, George, you know, Mr. Dwyer stating how pleased he is with the, the building right. itself uh, overall in the terms of the construction. Uh, it took, did take a little longer than anticipated, but I think those who have come through has been mostly all positive comments uh, and are really pleased. And it was even, I think, surprising the transformation that took place within that building. You know, uh, we saw we had a, you know saw it all the way through construction, but for somebody who just you know recalls prior to Once, what it was yeah. before the project started and going in there now, uh, you know that's we, the biggest you know compliment that we've it's got. It's amazing. The, yeah. yeah, it's amazing. It is. Um, so I just want to thank you know the commissioners, staff, uh, everybody involved with the project because this was something that you know when you. you 
take on an endeavor like this, a project like this, it's really not even just the group that was there when it first put a shovel in the ground. There are a number of people and, you know, some who, you know, put a lot of time and effort to see this project happen. This has spanned over several years prior to us even putting a sh shovel in the ground, probably close to a, a decade, wow. quite honestly. So I just want to thank everybody that was here um, and, and part of that movement to kind of see this come forward. Um, and just real quickly, I guess I actually have a qu question for Nancy. I mentioned the uh, holiday shop. Is that, um, do you have the dates for those? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And those are at the center, which yeah. the public can come in. Oh, and yeah, see the public this. can come in. Yeah, I just yes. wanted to, yeah. Yeah, it's, up, it's on our level. It'll be in one of the Totucket portions uh, of the room. Okay. Yeah, so December 20th from 1030 to 1230. And then December 23rd from 11 to 12.30. What day of the week is that? So the 20th is a Friday and the 23rd is a Monday. I kind of pair it with other things happening in the building so we have more yeah. people around. Yeah, obviously, we would welcome people to come to yeah. the table. Yeah. 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 All right. And I just want to say, you know, for the last three days, I, there has been a lot of activity uh, in terms of, you know, people coming and, throughout the day uh, to tour to get in, and, and a lot of new faces uh, yeah. and uh, you know we're, we're hopeful and I think confident that you know from the reaction that we'll be able to sustain that interest mm. so um, you know with that comes additional programs and I think you know staff is already looking and considering a number of things but we need to hear from the people too what they would like to see um, <clears throat> One other comment, uh, the comment regarding the garden. Yes. Certainly, um, I think there's a lot of opportunities on the site to do something. Um, I will also say, though, I believe the uh, uh, um, Brantford uh, Garden Club is planning to do something this spring uh, on the property, pl do a planting around a sculpture that will be installed. Um, so, you know, there's that to look forward to. But I think also... Uh, um, I think there's enough area where we can introduce some additional gardens, um, you know, in line with what right. I heard requested. So I look forward to, you know, seeing what we can bring forward with that. Right. Um, there's a lot of opportunity on the site, you know. It, you know, uh, and today there is quite a bit of acreage around that, surrounding that area that we basically haven't even utilized yet. So uh, I think there's potential there Apology. for... Uh, yeah, well, the bocce court will be built, but I'm just even thinking just for even, yeah, gardens, bocce, raised yeah, gardens, arch, so got raised gardens and things like that. Right. So um, certainly, you know, we'll be supportive of anything, you know, that the commission uh, would like to see and the staff would like to move forward with on that site. So just let us okay. know. One well, other thing. Yeah, yeah, one other thing, too, in regards to the storage. Uh, George, you know, I just, I don't know if you had the opportunity, that closet that... Do you see the one closet that's labeled storage? Um, that is a pretty deep closet. It, it is deeper than it's deceiving. If you open those doors, it is longer and deeper. So that in itself that's is big. a pretty large storage. But one of the other things throughout the building, um, there are a number of significant size storage areas. Because I agree, that's where we, we want to have a lot of the space that's flexible, be able to bring in, mm -hmm. you know, different, uh, uh, you know, whether it's, I know you use that as an example, the pickleball, but for instance, let's say, uh, I'm just going to throw it because I know ping pong tables. Say somebody wanted to ping, use a ping pong. There are areas in the building where we could store that where it won't dominate a room or control a room, and you have that flexible space. So, um, you know, and I'd be happy to show, I'm sure staff would, I would be happy to bring it around and show you some other storage areas that are in there because you probably haven't had the opportunity to see them all. But um, that was one thing that I know the architect, uh, going through the process, had stated many times about having enough storage in the building. Right. Um, which the other thing too is you know where primarily Canoebrook does you know uh, is housed on the upper level, the administration offices, many other programs, but you know Canoebrook as programs expand, they have the opportunity to expand within the entire, entire footprint of that building. Right. So, and just, you know, it is truly a community center. And it's truly an entire building that can meet programs needs. So, you know, you just heard Nancy talk about the pickleball. You know, she's going to use the gym. You know, 
know, that's not off course. She's right. already, you know, I think staff is already looking at that. So I think it'll be great. It's, uh, it's exciting to not only, you know, be where we are now to finally be in the building, but it's exciting to see where we go over the next right. month, yes. year or so. Yeah. And the one other last thing, uh, you know, with the, uh, <laughs> you know, we, we thought it was important to get in the building. There are some furnishings that still are on order that are being delivered, some technology, to, you know, but we thought it was important to get in there, start using the building, uh, get a feel for it, and uh, which we are. So I think, you know, you'll, you'll see things continue to be added to it, which are already planned um, now. So over the next month or two, um, more stuff will be added to it okay. within the building. So. Uh, continue to come by and check it out. Okay, thank you very <laughs> yeah, much. Thanks. Yes, George. Can I ask uh, Jeannie a question? Yeah. Certainly. Are we getting any TVs? Yes. So, you know, there are a number of locations. I believe they did bring a couple TVs, TVs over. Those were just installed uh, yesterday, I believe, uh, in two of the rooms. <laughs> but we do have a number of locations where we'll have digital <coughs> signage. Uh, some interactive signage. I know staff uh, was working with uh, our IT department to evaluate different software programs to really, um, you know, incorporate some of the, you know, with the digital signage, but have the capability of that really interactive. Uh, so there's a lot of exciting things that we can do throughout the building. And of course, TVs, yes. So, you know, one of the things, you know, we have a lot of, we speak a lot about the programs, the organized programs. Uh, which are so important, but we also, I think, as you go through the building, and I think Dagmar has, you know, keeps referring to it feels like home. It is a very comfortable building. There's a lot of areas that are, uh, you know, for just the comfort, social aspect, uh, where maybe you come between the lunch program and you have another pro uh, class you want to do, or you just come by for the day. And, um, you know, so even in those areas, we'll have also uh, some TVs available for movies and just you know, watch, a, watch a ball game. Okay. Right. Yeah, we, we do Thank in the you. Waverly Lounge behind the um, elevator there. That space, it's going to be kind of sports themed and has a very big screen that will go in there so we can watch like UConn games and things like that. I don't think we want to have like... TV on all day because people can do that at home. Right. But I think special events, movies, yeah. uh, sporting events, we'll be able to expand our programming and yeah. incorporate technology into that. So we're really, we're so grateful and so it's thankful. It's all so exciting. It, it really is. is. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's uh, can I just make one more comment? Sure. Everyone loved the game room. Everyone that came, they are so excited about you know, between the pool tables and the shuffleboard, yeah, I've heard real positive yeah. things. And, it's, and I promise everyone, as soon as I unpack my office and I can find the sawdust in the supplies for the <laughs> shuffleboard, I'll get that going. But if you saw my office lately, we still have all the big uh, historical prints that we've painted the frames and done all that, but we haven't gotten them hung up yet. They're all in my office, and somewhere all under all that, I think, is the shuffleboard stuff and we I should get to it in the next week so we'll have some tournaments and classes and fun so yeah people are I love game room too yeah so there's so many nice spaces for people to kind of find a spot whether it's in a structured activity or just I want to work on a puzzle I want to meet a friend for coffee or you know just grab a light bite so that's where we're going thank you for all your support we appreciate it you're welcome Are there any further comments Yes. Yes, Jean. What are the hours of the seniors? 8 citizen? to 4.30 Eight to currently. 4:30. You know, as we move forward and we kind of feel the space, we may expand more into some evening programs. Um, certainly that's down the road. And also expand um, our kitchen offerings. Um, but that involves a little planning and time. But we're, that's in the long-range plan. I would like to enjoy it a little bit more. Absolutely. So. We, we will get you there. And the more people that show interest that we can move forward, and I think we need to know that there is this younger population well, that are still working yeah. that would like to, to attend. So and it's I've, something they're working on. I've said this to people. I think both Nancy and I have experienced yeah. it quite a bit. In the 40-plus years I've been working at Canoe Brook, I've never seen people 
young people excited to be aging and to turn 60. Right. It was always, no, I'm too old, I'm too young to go there, and they're 75, you know. It's like, well, you could have been here 15 years ago. But now people in their 50s and 40s are coming in because they see downstairs the rec department, when can I make that big walk yeah. upstairs? I'm like, how old are you? And so it's really exciting for people to see aging as a positive place and to have a space that's upbeat and current and mm -hmm. new that's refreshing so and we're seeing some faces we haven't seen in a while and just to have people embrace turning 60 right. is a wonderful thing yeah. not that I'm there <laughs> <laughs> I am. so anyway thank you okay if there's no further comments I'd ask for a motion to adjourn I make a motion to adjourn second thank you thank, thank you. you and our next meeting will be at 46 yes. Church, Church Street in yes. February I know. thank you very barring us snow happy This program was brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Watch town meetings and other videos on demand at BrantfordTV.org.